Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio for our finale number 10. Oh my gosh, 10 parts for this beautiful old Paris lace folio. Today, we're going to do the final flip through of everything I have in here and talk about why I have what's in here and what I don't. Okay, so before I get going, I want to say a special hello to Deborah S. You know who you are. Thank you for the message on Etsy, sweetie. I really, really appreciate it. It's people like you that I keep doing these videos for and I keep creating um, because you have been with me since the very, very beginning. And I want to thank all of you. It's amazing to me that you all started with me on my very first video and you're still here. 700 subscribers later. Woo! So we made 700 yesterday. It is so exciting. No, it was on Wednesday. We made our 700 subscribers. Wow, can you imagine I started with one, just one, and here I am. So, oh my gosh, it's been a long road already at 700, but it's only been a few months, and I'm very, very blessed for each and every one of you who have subscribed, those of you who have subscribed and gotten notifications. But even though you don't comment, I know you're there, and it's great that you let me know via note other ways. I love it. So thank you. The best way to get a hold of me for if you don't know is through my Etsy shop. You can message me over there. Or if you follow me on Facebook, you can send me a message through Messenger. So there we go. Alrighty, guys. I think that's all of the um, housekeeping we need to do other than to say thank you for being here. Alrighty. So here she is. She is a chunky monkey. Lots of goodies. Um, she is definitely filling out that inch and a half um, spine we had that I thought I made too big and no I did not because I should know that that it's me you know so here she is um, we're going to talk about what's here so first of all I have this little tassel now I have the option to uh, close this tassel up tie it down but I haven't done that I've left it like this you can clip the little um Ribbon I have tied around it and have all these goodies to play with in one of your journals if you so desire. There are laces, there are yarns, there are ribbons, there are some fun little uh, eyelash um, trim. We have strands of pearls in here. Um, what else have we got? I've uh, got some um, velvet ribbon, satin ribbon, lots of laces, just, you know that's this great seam binding is in here in a couple colors and then it's sitting on a bulb pin with this wooden parasign um which i think is tim holtz but i'm not positive don't don't uh, quote me on that then i have one of the blessed tags which i believe is his but then again don't quote me i made this darling little um oh what do you want to call it it's a sequin shaker little mini one i have not sealed it in case you want to open it and take out the goodies i'm going to wrap it in bubble wrap on shipping i cannot and won't guarantee that'll get there in one piece because the post office has been brutal lately so we have our lovely lace vintage lace um binding with a row of pearls here the back side, we've got flowers and pearls. Oops, okay, so as we go along, this gives me a chance to repair anything that has fallen off, gotten damaged. Um, honestly, you saw us working so many times with this poor cover open and I was concerned about some things coming off. So we'll take care of those as we go today. Um, it, there's a kind of a headband style closure, it's elastic. We have our beautiful card here with all of our lace and our pearls and I want you to know I used close to 200 pearls on this project I lost track at some point and lots and lots of vintage lace yards and yards of it so um, we have another tag that's in our tuck we have that pocket here which you just saw our tuck a pearl some vintage lace um, more ribbon which is pretty vintage hopefully this pearl is going to stay on if not I'm going to have to do some other work with it a strip of pearls here some more satin um, ribbon so I'm going to try to put this back in but with it as fat as it is I think I may leave it out for the moment and come back to it um, before I close it up so we have this fabulous tail I call it my little horsey tail I'm sure there's a name for it but it's what it reminds me of as a pretty horse's tail 
Now on the front here, um, as I was saying, we have this lovely band, which you just slip off. Now, if you do add anything to this folio, you can undo this in the back and make it larger. And I have put one of my beautiful um, lace snippet clips, here it is, on here to decorate the front. You can put it up here. I had it there initially, but I thought it looked really pretty on the band. So I'm gonna take that off. And you have seen this cover many times with all the laces and the pearls and all the goodies. And I will double check to make sure everything's secure before it's shipped out to its new home, whenever it gets one. This will go on my Etsy shop over the weekend. I will not tell you when, you're just gonna have to watch. Anytime between now and hopefully Monday morning, um, it will be there. So we have laces, vintage laces, pearls, satin bows, satin ribbons. Um, do I have any paper, ribbon, paper, a little bit of paper flowers, lots and lots of pearls everywhere. Pearls, pearls, pearls. Some of these are probably vintage pieces, um, if I remember correctly, lots of pearls. We have vintage music paper, book page, vintage book page under there, and the Stamperia, Stamperia paper underneath on the cover. Again, more. Now this lace border was from Creative Lefty, it goes all the way around um, from her shop. And this vintage piece here is from um, Artie Mays, I believe, or yeah, I can't remember you guys who I said this was from. <laughs> oh no, Artsology. It might've been Artsology or Artie Mays. I'm not positive, but one of those ladies. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. Again, we've got more lace trim on the edge of this and we're going to open her up. Now I'm gonna stand up and check because I'm not sure what we're seeing. Oh, and my husband's got this really high. So you guys could see everything so I can open her up. Um, that looks like it's about the middle, right? So if I open, we should be able to see everything. But I will move it aside if I need to, um, I can do that. So, <sighs> super excited. More vintage laces all over. You guys have seen this, but I am gonna bring it up. Hopefully it's focusing. Cause there's no way for me to stand up and check and hold it in the air. So, <laughs> going to move our girl. Now on the inside of this, before we go any further, there is a set of charms that are on a separate bulb pin and it's a little lock and a heart. Okay. So they have their own and then vintage lace here, more laces and pearls all over. So I'm going to move her over to one side. I'm going to keep the glue nearby me in case I need it. And we're going to go over what's in here now. We have our pockets. There is a tuck spot here with two little pieces of ephemera. And we're going to begin with this pocket. These are all things I know you've seen and there are videos for pretty much, I'd say 90% of the pieces. So uh, I know you've all seen this one. It's a journaling card. There are two videos for this one, <laughs> journaling card. This is made with Gail Augustinelli's papers. I'm not gonna tell you where everything's from right now because it would just take forever because there are videos on all these explaining where they came from, what papers I use. So I'm not going to um, get into that over here, okay? So we have this little flip out. This does come out. It is a journaling card. Um, I made this fluffy little bow. I finally settled on that. And then I've decorated the tag up with lace, pearls, ribbon, all the goodies. And there is another charm here. There are a lot of charms in this one. Um, there'll be, I think there's anywhere from six to eight charms. I've kind of lost track, but I, I will put the number down in the listing. And then the back, you have writing space. So these are the three that are in this left-hand front pocket. There are at least three large um pieces in each pocket. So it's three, six, nine, I believe. No, two, two to three. Uh, ours are shaker card, which I did show in a video. I did not um, show the making of this there. It's pretty simple. This is a, a, a coffee dyed um, CD holder case. And actually this one comes from my friend, Gail Agustinelli, who sent it to me for my birthday in a pack of goodies. And so I made it into a shaker. So you are getting one of these prize. I kept a couple for myself, but this one, is one of hers and I've put it in here to share with all of you. Then I have a little 
lace snippet paper clip that I added to this envelope. And I've added this envelope, which I know I showed you in a video. Yeah, no, that's supposed to be loose, so that's fine. And it has a nice little tuck spot for you to close, open and close the envelope. And there are one, two, three, four ephemera pieces in here. I'm not gonna show them because if you saw the video, you know what's in there. If you don't, it'll be a surprise, okay? I don't want to give away every little bit and piece on this because someone is going to buy this and I'd like them to have <clears throat> a little surprise or two when they purchase this. Now, speaking of purchasing, before I forget, I'm gonna say it right now and I'll say it again a couple times in the video. When we started our shop, Jillian and I, we made the decision not to ship out of the United States. It's too difficult for me. I cannot get to the post office if Etsy gives me any kind of trouble. Also, because of the worldwide pandemic, so many places are not allowing the U.S. to ship to them or anyone to ship to them. So in order to avoid the hassle, the loss of a hard, hard worked on piece, a piece filled with tons of love and care being lost or sitting in customs forever, we are not shipping out of the United States at this time, nor have we ever. So, and for now, we're not going to change that. There won't be any exceptions. So thank you for your interest. I'm so sorry to those of you who are in Europe. I love and cherish each and every one of you. Your subscribership means the world to me, but we'll have to stick with, for you guys, unfortunately, with the digital things. And that's why I'm making more and more digital pieces so you can have some of my work um, that if I'm using pieces that are made from Jolene's kits, I, she will allow me to, to probably at some point make digitals out of them if they're pre-made. Um, and it doesn't affect her sales in any way so that you can have some of my work made digitally. But we haven't got to that point yet. So I'm hoping she'll she'll let me do that. So we have another uh, charm. There was a charm on this one. So as you can see, you know, more and more little charms. Um, there's one on this little file, fo little folder, which we looked at the other day. This is an envelope folder. We went over this one. There is, there was the making of this. I did add this tag to the back, which wasn't there before. Um, I have two cards. There are two more in here. Like I said, I'm pretty much not going to go into too much detail on those because the person who gets it should be the person who seals all the really small goodies. And I showed a lot of this in my last two videos. So I think you've seen pretty much, you know, what's here. Um, so, oops, I lost this out of the pocket there. Let me get it back in there. All right, this one just sits inside because it just doesn't fit. She's too, too, too fluffy. So in our tech spot, we have a little a cigarette card and another little um, piece of ephemera. Let's see if I can get her back in there. There we go. You've seen these both made in videos. They're journaling cards. There's this envelope, which I had to add some lace, and I added more lace and a pearl <clears throat> so it would stay closed. I've added lace and pearls here, lace and pearls here. One of my um, postage stamps I made. Uh, this Someone asked me about these. All of the word pieces you see in here are from a jewel design by Jolene, and they are in her shop uh, in digital form. There's a full page of these really elegant little, and she has probably, I'd say, 10 different word pages. So if you need words, go over to her shop. I have pearls here, lots of vintage laces, and then there's a, a little um, tag on the inside. So there's a little something in there, and there are more pearls and lace on the inside. So I went all lacy and pearl on you. Someone also said this was a grungy one. I really didn't think of this as a grungy uh, trifold. I see it more as Victorian lace, but you know, everybody has their terminology for what they see and use. I won't, I'll try not to take offense to it because <laughs> I just see it as vintage and lacy and ladies and you know, that type of thing. I, I didn't really see it as grungy, but maybe it is. I don't really know the term for that. So then I've added a few more things over here. Uh, we do have this little tiny um, envelope. Again, it's got a word. It opens up. There are some little goodies to pull out that are handmade by me. All this is hand stamped. There is a little pocket on the back of this, which there wasn't before. And there's a couple, two little goodies in the pockets. I'm not going to pull those out because that's a surprise for whoever buys it. I'll put that back in there. Then um, there is this lovely piece. Again, one of Jolene's words and another one of Claudia's timeless crochet for you. Her paper, uh, one of our lovely ladies. A vintage button here, which is it moved. It has moved a little. I think it's okay. Vintage button, a pretty little satin bow, lots of lace trim and pearls. You did not see this finish, so it's done now. 
Um, and then it has one, two, three, four pieces on the inside, but I'm not going to show those off because again, these are hand stamped by me on vintage papers. Now, when you see vintage papers in here, they are hand stamped by me and they are vintage. Okay. So, or coffee dyed and this one's, any of the white ones are vintage. They're from my dad's stash. So they're, they're pretty old. All right. So then last but not least is this lovely little, uh, stamped image bundle and, this is something made by hand stamped and handmade by me, and I am not going to show it off because it is for whoever purchase it, purchases it. And I did do lots of pretty uh, glossy accents on everything here. Not glossy accents, what do you call it? Uh, Wicastella pen on it to give it a little sparkle. This is some polka dot vellum that I've used, gold dot vellum. So all these little goodies are now in the kit. When you add all of this up, it adds up to over 52 pieces, which includes this hard piece and the tail. It doesn't include all the cute little, um, it doesn't include in the count all of the lovely little dangles that I've added to this to this kit. So I think there's another four or five, or maybe six dangles on here that are not included in that count. So, you know, you're getting a whole lot of work for your money here. Um, so, and a lot of love and a lot of care. And if you've watched my videos, you know, oh gosh, I forgot this side. There is a pocket here. This is our notebook. And isn't this a lovely, it's a beautiful lace bustier, a vintage button and some, some of this satin ribbon is I've had for like 40 years. So it's pretty darn close to vintage as you can get lots of pearls and goodies and then coffee, a nice little selection of coffee dyed papers go into this little pocket here. And I have to open it in order to get it in because it is tight, tight, tight with all the goodies in the pocket in the, on that side. Again, one of Jolene's words, <clears throat> a lot of uh, laces, vintage lace here, absolutely vintage laces that are old and Jolene's words and then another image um, and it's got vintage lace and then it's also got some um, seam binding on ruffled seam binding on the side, which, you know, matches the front page. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this has been a true labor of love. I've loved every single minute and I would have kept adding and adding and adding and adding. But as you can see, our little lady here is stuffed to the gills. I can barely get her closed. Um, there is so much in here and so much dimension and so many layers and lots of fibers and lots of pearls. It's just, it's crazy. So this, here she is. I decided against making uh, a traveler's notebook to put in here because there's no room for it. I would have to remove a bunch of pieces and I don't want to do that. So at some point, um, when I'm in between design projects and other things, I will eventually make a TN that actually matches this. Well, it'll be made from similar papers and things like that, ribbon and bows and, you know, the whole bit. So I'm going to make that at a later date. I hope that's okay with you because also it would have really, really added to the price. And um, so I wanted to keep it down to a certain extent. So... Um, I hope that's okay with you. Again, this is our finish. And one more time, we do not, unfortunately, ship out of the U.S. at this time. And this lovely, beautiful folio, um, ephemera folio, will be going into my shop sometime between now and, you know, next Monday morning. So it'll go in and hopefully sell right away and, and be gone. I, I know I've had some people ask me from out of the U.S. about it, but I'm just, I'm so sorry I can't, I just cannot... Uh, due to postal restrictions is the biggest one right now. Um, we've been given them and they're very strict here in our little town and they flat won't even let us mail it out. It's not even a manage matter of saying, oh, we'll mail it out and see if it'll go. They won't let us. And we've been notified by UPS and uh, FedEx that they also will not pick up any packages that are, are leaving or going to certain countries. So we just have no absolute way to ship it out of the, of the U.S. I'm so sorry. I really, really am. But... It's the sign of the times, everybody. It just really, really is. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. So there you have her. This is our old Paris, hence the name on here, lace folio. And it's completed. So I have enjoyed making this so much. And I've so enjoyed all of your wonderful, kind comments 
and all of your suggestions and every it's been just a, a fun fun project and i hope you will find the next few just as fun they will be for my design team projects not as intricate or complicated as this because i uh joined the team very late and um I'm, i don't have time actually to create very much so it's going to be some small little projects for that and then the next kit when i have more time will be will be more involved and in, and more in my style as you'll see but for right now there she is, guys, at my best. So I hope you enjoy her and you've enjoyed every bit of this. I've had a great time. You guys are all fabulous, fabulous. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses, you guys. Bye-bye.